What's up everyone? Thanks for being here again this week. Uh, I want to talk today again about regret, especially this idea that we hear in our world sometimes that like we should never have any regrets. And that's, it's wrong. It's foolish. It's not what the Bible teaches us. It reminds me of Julie and I years ago used to watch the show The Apprentice, sort of a business reality show with Trump before he was President Trump. I'm not talking about him at all, but just the show. The contestants, moments after they hear, you fired, um, they would be interviewed about their performance and, you know, inevitably, almost all of them would say, oh, no regrets. I wouldn't do anything different. You just got fired. You lost the show because of the choices you made and you don't want to do anything different. I never understood that. But that's the way we're told to approach life sometimes. Like, oh, never any regrets. Mm, wrong. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 7.10, For godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret. That godly grief is actually an idea like regret. He's not saying that we need to live under regret as this overwhelming all the time sort of thing. But there are moments in our lives where we make mistakes. We can't just brush that off and say, oh, no regrets. That's a lie. We have to recognize the sin, or maybe it's just an innocent mistake. Own up to it, move past it, and be able to move on and do different and do better. That's the point. Regret doesn't mean we've got to be under that umbrella or cloud all the time. It means we take that opportunity and move past it, especially for righteousness' sake. So this week, when you make a mistake, don't just brush it off like no big deal, no regrets. Own up to it, fix it, follow Jesus. That's it. Sorry a little long today, um, but I uh, hope you guys have an awesome week, and we'll see you again next week for another Monday Minute. Love you. Bye.